Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this two-part video, you should be able to work out the electron configuration of elements. OK, in the last video we saw that an atomic orbital is a region around a nucleus that can hold up to two electrons with opposite spins. We saw that there are several different types of orbitals, and we call these the S, P, D and F orbitals. We also saw that a subshell consists of all of the orbitals of the same type in the same shell. And I'm showing you the 3D subshell here. So in this video, we're going to look at how we assign electrons to different atomic orbitals. The first key idea you need to understand is that different subshells have got different energies. I'm showing you the energies of some of the subshells here. Now I should point out that at this stage, I'm only looking at a small number of subshells. We'll be looking at the rest in the next video. As you can see, as we move away from the nucleus, the energy of the subshells increases. Now, in order to show how electrons fill the orbitals, we need to follow three rules. These are quite straightforward, so let's look at them now. Firstly, orbitals with the lowest energy are filled first. Secondly, we can have up to two electrons in the same orbital, but they must have opposite spins. And lastly, if we have orbitals with the same energy, then we put electrons into individual orbitals before we pair them. And that's because electrons in the same orbital repel. Coming up, I'm going to show you some examples of how to put electrons into orbitals, and I'll give you one to try for yourself. OK, so let's look at some examples of how to put electrons into atomic orbitals. We're going to start with hydrogen, which has got one electron. In this case, the lowest energy orbital is the 1s orbital in shell 1. So here's our electron, and you'll notice that we're using an arrow to show the electron's spin. Now, I should point out that if you're following the AQA spec, then you need to show an electron using an arrow like this instead. However, for the OCR spec, we show electrons using a normal arrow, which is what I will use. Now, another way of writing this is to use a shorthand version showing just the subshells. This is called the electron configuration. In the case of hydrogen, the 1s subshell contains one electron, so the electron configuration of hydrogen is 1s1. Let's look at the element helium. Helium has two electrons. Again, the lowest energy orbital is 1s, so our first electron goes there. Remember that each orbital can hold up to two electrons, so that means that our second electron can also go into the 1s orbital. Now you'll notice that we flip the spin of the second electron, and that's because electrons in the same orbital must have opposite spins. Because helium has two electrons in the 1s subshell, the electron configuration of helium will be 1s2. OK, let's look at lithium now. Lithium has three electrons. Again, we can put the first two electrons into the 1s orbital like this. The 1s orbital is now full, so the third electron now goes into the second shell. The lowest energy orbital in the second shell is the 2s orbital, so that's where the electron goes. This means that the electron configuration of lithium is 1s2, 2s1. OK, I'd like you now to draw the electrons in their orbitals for the element nitrogen. Nitrogen has got seven electrons. I'd also like you to work out the electron configuration for nitrogen. So pause the video and try this yourself. OK, so just like before, the first two electrons go into the 1s subshell, and here they are. The next two electrons go into the 2s subshell. We now have three more electrons to assign. Now you'll notice that all of the p orbitals in the 2p subshell have the same energy. Remember that if we've got orbitals with the same energy, then we put electrons into individual orbitals before we pair them. So here are our three electrons in the 2p orbitals. The electron configuration for nitrogen is 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. As you can see, the electron configuration does not show the individual orbitals in the 2p subshell. And that's because the electron configuration only shows the subshells, not the individual orbitals. In the next video, we look at more complicated examples of how orbitals are filled and we look at two elements that are exceptions to the rules and explain why.